everyone it's Andrea welcome back to my channel we're going to continue to do Johanna's Christmas um, the uh, poinsettia bauble I know Grace and Shaleen have finished theirs and I'm still pootling on with mine uh, but we're going to do as much as we can now and get this done so we're just going to do the little oops move the camera and I'm just trying to sort the screen out so I can see what I'm doing there we are so we're just going to do these little holly berries. I'm going to just zoom it in. No, oh, that way. Holly berries. I'm to give my little robin a little red breast. So. I finished my puppy picture. If you're in the Jen Reading with Pugs colouring channel. I have posted it in there. Uh, I will post it in the other ones when I do. And I've started on the Skater Girl from Hannah Lynn's book Whimsy Girls Christmas because I really wanted to do one of those because this is so cute. So I started that last night. You'll see those in a video at the end of the month when I do my uh, colouring completed pages because I do, I, I think there'll be quite a lot over the next month or two because I'm not at work so I can't reach these ones, they're a bit far away I, uh, you know Just oh you can't see that I'm just doing in the little little birdie here. So my brother gets back from New Zealand today. He has landed. They have landed in London. By the time you actually see this, I will probably either be picking him up or I will have picked him up. I'm not sure which yet. Um because I'll be picking him up from the station this afternoon. So it'd be nice, can't wait to see him. I haven't seen him since last January when he went back to New Zealand last time. So we're gonna do the inside of the bauble now and I'm gonna do it purple, because I like purple. You just can't have enough purple in your life. So, um, I plan on filming a another colour and catch up before we start next week's picture, which is another one from this one, which is Shaleen's choice. Because somebody's asked me to do a picture just using the Tombow Erotitans to see how they look. So, um, it depends. I might actually just do it in the, the next one that we do, which is Shaleen's choice, if I haven't already done that one in this book. I don't think I will have. But, uh, yeah. So, somebody asked me what they were like, and I said, well, I've only used them once. They are a harder pencil, but I like the colours, so maybe we'll use those. So there are some lovely, lovely colours in that, uh, 90 set. I've also got to refilm part of my November book wrap up because I've lost a section because the camera films it in sections of 12 minutes but I had to stop the camera because I left I needed something from the other room because I couldn't remember an author's name I forgot to bring the notebook because it was a Kindle book with me so I didn't actually have a physical copy and I went to turn the camera off, went to get it, came back and filmed this section on this book. It, luckily it was the last book anyway, so it's not too bad. Came to edit that together this morning and, uh, mm, yeah, disappeared. Don't know where it is. Gone. So I'll, I'll refilm that later when I get home from picking up Chris. And it can go up tomorrow, hopefully. So I've got a cup of tea here because... Uh, 
well, you know. Here we go. So I've ordered some cheap books off of eBay. Some second hand books on autobiography. So I've got two on Doris Day. And one on Jane Russell. So I'm looking forward to those coming. So I think the thing with me is I've got to stay off buying brand new books, which are like eight or nine pounds or more. And just try and stick with some of these. There's so many Hollywood history books and so many books on autobiographies that I want on different people that if I can get them cheap, I will. There's green. Where's the green? There's the green. Got a bit here that I've missed. Should be green. There we are. <laughs> we all miss bits from time to time, don't we? So I don't know if I'm getting books for Christmas. There were books on my Amazon wish list. And my brother and my mum get stuff from that for my Christmas and birthday. So around Christmas and birthday, I don't even look at my wish list. After Christmas, when I know what if, if I've been given anything from it, I, I might go and add something or I might change it slightly. But I won't look at it because I know that they've ordered from it and I don't want to know what they've ordered me. Um, I know I put books down for Paul, but he ordered most of the stuff before I even gave him a list, so I am going to get some surprises there, which is nice. He's very good at presents, which is lovely. You'll see those in the Christmas Day vlog. Might be quite a long one, but try and keep it very short. I bought one reading book in town the other day because I had some money left on a a Waterstones gift card, only a couple of quid. But you got to use it in a certain amount of time, otherwise it'll expire. And so I bought a book I've read, but I want to collect the series. It's one of those really good series. Um, I've only read a couple of books in the series, so. I am going to start collection, and that was the Rivers of London by Ben Aranovich. But uh, you will see that in a haul after Christmas because I won't be doing any more hauls now, definitely, till after Christmas. And then it depends on what I get. So we're just going to do colouring videos, but some there'll be some book spotlight videos. Uh, we'll have. Um, some flip throughs, there'll be the vlogs, there'll be my 2018 resolutions video. I don't know what I resolved to do last year, I think it was read more, which I haven't actually done, I've read less, but I've coloured more, which is good. I will be setting a good reads challenge, again I still haven't, obviously we're not, whoops, we're not at the end of the month, so I don't know what it's going to be yet. We will wait and see. Because it, it does depend. On what we've got. Yeah. It's a nice colour. This is Polychromos Blue Violet. It's a lovely, lovely colour. So uh, it did try to snow today. We were forecast snow across Wales. Um, some places will have got quite a lot, particularly up north. We're in the south, southeast. Uh, southwest was supposed to get it quite bad, and the north. Um, some of the valleys, towns, a town, small village I used to live in did get some through the night. I don't know if it snowed here during the night because I couldn't see it when I looked out the window. Uh, but when I got out this morning it was snowing slightly. But the sun's out now and it's beautiful. So no, no snow for us. 
And the reason is, is it's where we, we sit in the valley, to be honest. We're in the valley, so it tends to settle on the, the hills. So when I go out, we might see some on the hills. But it's, it's very hard for it to settle in the valley. It's got to be a really heavy snowstorm for it to settle where I live with any significance. The last time it, it significantly snowed where I live was 2013. So, and it was January 2013, so that's nearly five years ago. But uh, yeah, we haven't had any significant snowfall where I am. Up the hill, I know, up, in t up the hill from where I live, I've got a friend that lives up there. Uh, it was snowing up there earlier in the night, you know, but um, down here, nothing. A few flakes this morning I actually saw a little bit settled on the car, it's all melted now. I can see my car from where I'm sitting. Um, I'm in my living room, I can see out the window. I can see there's nothing on the car. It's just very, very sunny and bright and probably very cold, which is the kind of weather I like. We get this uh, day out of the way, so once Chris is home, my brother, and I've picked him up from the train station, and Paul is back from work. I don't care what he does. We could have 10 foot blizzards, I don't care as long as they're back and they're safe. So that's all that matters to me, is them getting back safe. After that, I don't care because we'll all be home in the warm. I mean, poor Chris, he's had a very long flight. His layover in LA was something like five hours. Ugh. Um, when I looked on the, the website, on the flight tracker. Um, but he arrived this morning so it's a long old flight because he left yesterday our day so Thursday in the UK which would have been Wednesday in New Zealand or very early on on Thursday morning and he's arriving back on Friday and he's got to once he gets it's like a 26 hour flight plus layover plus then traveling from Heathrow to Newport which means he needs to catch the Heathrow Express to Paddington if it's running. One year it wasn't running. We had snow that year as well, but it was really bad. I don't know what it's like down south, so can't really say. Um, and then he's got to catch the train from Paddington to Newport. And that could be like a two to three hour journey, a three hour journey, depending. He usually gets back around three-ish, so. But uh, when he's in London, he'll pick up a, a, a disposable SIM for his phone. So he can ring us when he gets to the seven tunnel, either before they go in or when they come out the other end. So we know to leave to pick him up. So we're just waiting now for him to Tell us he's uh, on his way. So I should do this. I should have some lunch. Then it'll be pretty much time to go and get him, which will be nice. I'll sit with him for a bit, but obviously he's been on a flight for like oh, 26 hours and then the layover and then the traveling back from London. Um, all he's going to want to do tonight is have a bath, something to eat and hit the hay and I do not blame him. I know my mum's been airing his room out and putting clean sheets on his bed. Getting it all nice and ready for him. Bless him. You'll meet him in my vlog later. Bless his heart. He's a lovely boy. I say boy, he's actually 41 this year. Is he 41 this year or is he 42 this year? 42 this year. God, where's the years go? See, I can't even remember. I know it's not that, we're not that old. So, so, we're not that old. We're still young chickens. So, Christmas begins when he gets off that train and I see him. So that's when Christmas starts for me. Although I am enjoying doing the Christmas pictures and I'm loving watching everybody's Christmas videos. I'm loving watching, uh, seeing photos of their decorations. 
I know my dad's got the decorations out of the attic, but he actually broke something. I think he fell on it. And what, I'm not actually sure what happened. He was getting them out of the attic and he slipped. He's okay, which is the main thing, but he broke some, some ornament. It's a little gingerbread house that you put a candle in, so it's nothing exciting. Main thing is he's okay. Because it is getting too I think it's getting too much. He's 77 on Christmas Eve. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lot for him to do. I mean, he, they haven't got a boarded at it like we have. I can... Paul can get the decorations out and I just stand and he'll pass stuff down to me. Because it's not heavy. But... We don't have to worry about standing on the joists because it's boarded and we can just walk around up there and get up there. I normally put stuff up there if I'm, you know, but at the moment he won't let me go up there. So I have no idea what mess he's made up there. As I was in the process of sorting everything out. Um, I'll start sorting it out again when it's P arrives. I got there to get away, <laughs> there for a break. Paul will have the baby, I'm going up in the attic for half an hour to do some tidying up. Um, so I'm trying to keep all the marrow and stuff to one side. It's up there. And uh, sort out any rubbish that can go. And uh, organise it basically so that we know where everything is when we want something. So. Christmas decorations go in a specific spot. The Marilyn stuff is in a specific spot. Suitcases are in a specific spot. Because it's all, all up there. So. How is your Christmas planning coming? Have you got all your presents sorted? I did a load of wrapping yesterday. If you watched the vlog, you'll see, you can see the presents I wrapped yesterday. That's not everything because not everything's arrived yet. I'm still waiting on some stuff for Paul. Um, he's still got some stuff to order for my mum. And so on. So it's a matter of... Um, just seeing how we can get it done as it comes in because I've done it all now as something comes in or we, we buy some in I can just wrap it up I have got no I have got no yeah no I have got my dad's birthday present to wrap up I do have a little bit of wrapping paper left for birthdays upstairs. I will get that down and do that soon. Or part of his birthday present. I've still got one thing to get him for his Christmas, which I will get probably possibly this weekend if I've got a chance. But we are popping to Cardiff this weekend, so I'm taking you with me. We'll be vlogging in Cardiff. Center. Uh, it'll be Sunday so it'll be open but and it will be busy but we're gonna go down very early in the morning at nine ish shops don't open until ten half past but the plan is to go and have a breakfast in Weatherspoon's pub set ourselves up have full English come 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 a couple of cups of tea and then when the shops open we're just gonna have a wander around Paul needs some shoes for work so we're going to go and get those. We're going to pop into John Lewis. We might get some baby stuff. And any odds and sods I see that I think people might like for Christmas. And then we'll... I'll be coming home. Because <laughs> Paul's going off to meet his friend. To watch a football match. I don't mind. I'll just come home. I should come home for a couple hours, have some lunch, put everything away. I might film a video. Or I might just sit and watch videos and catch up. i still got... Um, 
because I, I subscribe to so many people that I only really watch the videos I want to watch. I do, you know. So that might be, for instance, I will always watch Grace's channel. Um, mostly the colour in chats. I do watch some of the flip throughs, but it's only if it's a book I think I'm going to want to, I'm interested in maybe buying. Um, and she puts up loads of great flip throughs. Um, I always watch Reading with Pugs and her colouring. And oh, and tomorrow we've got the cosy colouring night, which is great. So that'll be nice tomorrow evening. Um, there are certain booktubers I'll binge watch, so like Steve Donahue who does his mail hauls. I love his mail hauls. He gets so excited by the books he gets that I just sit there and watch them for hours. But I sort of go through phases where I want to watch something and then I don't want to watch something. So it's like Jordan the Lion. He's currently in Belgium having a break and uh, he's vlogging every day from Belgium. And I didn't watch any of the beginning of them. And then yesterday I just binge watched a whole lot of his uh, Belgian videos. And they're really, really good. So when I'm having my lunch, I might watch another one. I might not. I might watch them tomorrow. Oh, Sunday afternoon when Paul's out. Because I tend to watch these videos when Paul's not around. Cause he, although he does like Jordan. He quite happily watched Days with Jordan the Lion. He, uh, he thinks the colouring ones are, are funny. You sit there and watch somebody colour and just chat at a camera. I like them. I like hearing what people are up to. So, And tutorials and things like that. I do tend to stay away from the really long ones. Because although I can pause it and go back, I tend to watch them on my big TV. And if I don't watch it all in one go, it goes back to the beginning. Though sometimes I watch the really long ones in bed on my phone. Because I can. There's that one there is. So. But I, to be fair, I did watch one that was over an hour this morning and that was Missy the Binge Reader. She did a huge haul. Excuse me, sniffling. Uh, yeah, she hauled a load of books, some makeup, and some teas. And her video was just over an hour long. It's just amazing. I'm keeping an eye on the time on this this camera because you don't want to see me just rattling on for like an hour, an hour, an hour, an hour. There's nothing to say. I've nearly finished purple, which is great. So I do plan to put some stickles on this when I've finished, whenever that is. Um, basically I'm going to put some stickles on the poinsettias um, on this part of the bauble, the ring. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to going to get Chris. We'll sit and have a quick chat with him when he gets in. He'll have something to drink, probably some fruit juice, a snack, and then about four o'clock I'll probably come home and he'll uh, he'll go and have a, a bath and head off to bed for the night because it's a long day for him coming from New Zealand. I think he's mad for doing it, but he does it every year so far. And we make the most of it because one year he might just say, you know what, I just can't face that, that flight. I mean, he's lucky he works for the airline, so he uh, gets a bit of a discount. So he managed to afford to go business class rather than economy. And when you're six foot five, it makes a difference. He's also got a bad back, so sitting in economy for like that, I mean like t 11 hours and 10 hours, however long the flight sections are, it's a long old time. But if he's in business class, he can 
recline his bed, he, you know, they get a little bed and they get a blanket and hopefully he managed to catch some Zeds on the way home. And the food's not too bad. They even get a glass of champagne, but uh, Chris doesn't drink, so like he said, the champagne's wasted on him because he's teetotal. He has been for years. Me, I'd be there guzzling it back. No, not at the moment though. Yeah. But, so he was lucky he managed to get on a, a business class. He only does it on standby, so it's not guaranteed. Sometimes he has to fly economy if there's no space in business class. Um, he's actually come home a day earlier than normal, so he could try and get business class. The weekends or the Friday flights, which is the one he normally takes, their business class ones are usually full. So he's um, he decided to try and come home a day earlier, which he has. It's Friday. We normally pick him up on a Saturday. And um, I'm thinking it's Saturday because I'm picking him up. But, nope. But because of that, the uh, business class cabin wasn't as full. So he was able to get a seat in there. So that's good. So he will have been able to. Stretch out a bit more. So. I mean, it's horrible being in an economy however tall you are because there's never enough space. But when you're over six foot. I mean, I'm five foot five and he's definitely a foot taller than me. When you're over six foot, it's very, very uncomfortable. So he's just, I mean, he is lucky that it's like he says, it's one of the perks of working for the airline that he can get an upgrade to a business and it doesn't cost him the full amount because you get discounts. Same as that when I worked for a certain clothing shop, I got a 50% discount on all their stock if I wanted, to, if, you know, non sale stock, uh, you know, anything came in new, got it for half price. And that was everything, that was shoes, bags, clothes, jewellery. So we all, you know. So we've nearly finished the purple of the bauble. I might go over it off camera just to finish it off, get all the white bits out. And then again, I might not, might just leave it as it is. I have to find out what Shaleen's colour in next week so I can have a look at it to see if I think it'll work with the erogatons. I'm sure it will. I do need to get a bag for those, a pencil case for the erogatons and for these polychromos. Um, just because that. Uh, these cases are quite awkward. At the moment I still got the polys in the tin. So I have to take all the layers out to be able to get to the colours I want and then you're like reaching across. If it was in the other one I just play, oh right I want that one and flip it over. So I'm going to do the top now of the the bauble. I will do the, the ribbon in purple a bit later on. I'm going to do that today. And for that I'm going to be using Cadmium yellow, which is 107. Hmm. So let's put that up here. So this is going to be this bit here. This I'm going to put glitter on anyway. So I got loads of gold stickles. Mm. 
so yeah like I said loads of stickers the camera stopped again it seems to stop about 30 minutes I think it just because it gets warm and then it just cuts out and then you just put it on and it's fine it's very very bizarre so I don't know so we're nearly finished for the day anyway so I'm just going to do this gold bit and the ribbon and then we'll do another one possibly Sunday where we just do the outside of the the wreath on the outside and that's only because I've got to get some lunch and I've got to get ready to get Chris so as much as I'd love to spend all day colouring with you I can't <laughs> I will try and get this edited so that it can upload while I'm actually out makes sense I'm trying to do things logically in this house I'm so lazy that's the problem I think oh, I'll get it done in the morning and then I got the rest of the day to do other stuff and then I just sit there playing on my flipping Facebook game and nothing gets done I really do like this violet blue colour I think it's lovely I do prefer a sharp point though <laughs> hang on hang on hang on that's better So yeah. <sighs> so it's just really nice. I love Christmas. I've even been looking at holiday cottages for next year. The holiday in October because I'm determined to vlog it next year so I want somewhere that's got Wi-Fi because <laughs> the data on the phone goes so quickly um, and I've never vlogged on the, the phone but I can do it on the if I can take my laptop that'd be great especially if it's in the UK because now they, they're a bit funny about letting you take um, electronics on a plane, like laptops and things. So they want you to put it in the hold. I, I wouldn't be happy with that. You know, not at the moment. Maybe when I get myself a decent new suitcase. Cameras you can still take on into the cabin, so which is normally the main thing I take. So. <laughs> But as we'd be going to Cornwall, we'd be just taking two cars, so we need two car parking spaces, that's all. And we'd need two cars because of taking the baby, so there'd be one... My mum and dad would be in one car with the dog. And that'd be me pulling the baby in my car. You know, focus, thank you. Because we'd need more space. But it would be nice. I just have to see. But I want to vlog, so. I'm even thinking about buying a, not a GoPro, because they're far too expensive, but uh, that sort of camera, sort of the, the cheap cameras that are like a GoPro, so you can mount it on things, and you can mount it on your dashboard, you can mount it on your bike, now that I've got one, you can mount it on the pram. I've even seen people mount them on the top of the, their uh, digital camera, on, on top of their film cameras when they're doing photo walks. So. I 
Well, that'll be fun. So that's what I'd like to do. I have some ventures with peanut. Let's see what happens. So there we are. We have finished the bauble. All I've got to do now is the wreath. I was thinking about doing the background, but I don't think I could be bothered. Because it's just too, there's too much space. You could do just the inside, I guess, but I don't, I'd want to do the whole page. So let's zoom out and have a look at what we've completed today. Doesn't that look pretty? So that is where we're going to leave it today, because I think that's enough. And I'll do another video when we just do the outside of the wreath and put the stickles on and the glitter so I'm going to leave it there I hope you've enjoyed this video I will see you very soon with the final part of my colour and catch up Johanna's Christmas which I believe will be part four so I'm looking forward to seeing all your completed pages so if you've got a channel please let me know and I will go check out your your colouring if you're a colouring channel I will go and have a look um, and I will see you all soon in the next one when we'll finish off by completing the wreath Happy colouring everyone and I'll see you soon. Bye!